Mira technology holds the key to recycling waste plastics that cannot be processed via mechanical recycling, including flexible, multi-layered plastics. Currently, these products are destined for landfill and incineration and can result in environmental pollution. Mira's proprietary recycling process, Hydro PRS, is an innovative, advanced recycling solution that uses supercritical water to convert these waste plastics back into the chemical and oil products from which they were made for reuse in the production of new, virgin-grade plastics, other hydrocarbon-based products and even roads. Hydro PRS can process all waste plastic types, increasing the scope of plastic recycling and reducing that which is currently incinerated or landfilled. Initially, the plastic we process comes primarily from post-consumer household waste, which is left over after mechanical recycling operations. This material is currently destined for landfill or incineration. To begin the process, mixed waste plastic bales are shredded and processed to remove non-plastic contaminants such as stones, glass and metal. The mix is then combined with supercritical water and heated to reaction conditions. Supercritical means the water is heated and pressurised above its critical point and so exhibits properties of both liquids and gases. Once in the reactor, the supercritical steam acts as molecular scissors, cutting the bonds in the plastic and donating hydrogen to form new, stable, shorter chain hydrocarbons. This conversion process takes approximately 25 minutes. Following conversion, flash distillation separates out the individual product fractions for use in the petrochemical industry, with very little waste produced. There are many benefits to the Hydro PRS process, including decoupling the manufacture of new plastic from fossil resources, creating value from waste plastic, and recycling plastics that would otherwise be buried, burned, or end up in the environment. Efficient heat transfer within the process also makes Hydro PRS inherently scalable. Independent studies called life cycle assessments show the environmental impacts of different processes. A life cycle assessment of advanced recycling processes such as ours by CE Delft has calculated a saving of approximately 1.5 tonnes of CO2 per tonne of input compared to incineration. This means that each 20,000 tonne hydro PRS processing line could save approximately 30,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions annually when compared to the incineration of plastic waste. By 2025, we're aiming to have 1 million tonnes of plastic waste recycling in operation or development, potentially reducing CO2 emissions by 1.5 million tonnes annually. To put this into perspective, a 1.5 million tonne CO2 saving is the equivalent of removing approximately 660,000 cars off the UK's roads every year. The first site to use the Hydro PRS technology at commercial scale is in development in North East England and which will process 80,000 tonnes of waste plastics on completion alongside other international sites. Mura's highly efficient, scalable and groundbreaking technology has the potential to change the way the world views plastic waste, unlocking its value, entering it into a circular economy and forging an environmentally friendly, plastic neutral and sustainable future.